Spread more. Okay, it's a double. Because I, I opened a normal one earlier. And for the etching of the chosen. Whoa. Another one. Hey. Oh. Bone shots. So this is the Repofoy. Hey guys, we are back. So in this episode, we are opening up Modern Horizon 2 Collector Boosters. So it's been a while, I opened the MTG products and definitely something to chase for in this is the Retrofoy Fetch Lens and some of the uh, maybe inserts that you can get from MH1 uh, in the uh, retro frames. So, so in this, let's see how many fetch lands we can get to open in out of this 12 collector's booster pack. So let's see our luck signal energy. Is it like 10 upon 10 or 5 upon 10? And we will only find out when we open this. So pretty excited. There's definitely some new cards that I can add to my um, modern deck. So I still kept my modern deck. So I no longer play standards and stuff like that. But these are the, all the good cards that you can upgrade your deck to, to keep it for a long time. So without further ado, let's get ready to open. So and then this is a lot of our squirrel sets. Shadow Ego. Upbound, so we go back into Affinity, Jade Avengers, Abiding Grace, the first uncommon, Mono Skillion, so I think one of the cards that can add into this uh, Upzan counter deck combo. Okay, so this is the very first uh, Edge Voice that you can get in the pack, and then what's behind is a Full Art Surg Resurgence Belief. So next up will be the sketch slots. So sketch slots I have flooded house. Oh we hit the endurance. Full art non-foil. So I believe this has some potential value. Um okay next we have a retrofoil globlin ano arch no menso. So it's a common and next up we have kitchen in so I think the slots is like something new for us. Kitchen Im and what's behind is a very first uh, edge foil etching of the chosen. So let's put some over here. So what's behind my hit? A foil vindicate. So I'm not sure what happened to the print print is it the, like print defects that the site has this or this Vindicate spreads throughout that cut frame. And what's behind? Wow, man, I got a sketch. Dreya Drone, the Hada. So a first pack mythic point that, that hits up the screens. So the token, so in the pack, I get something like that for my very first pack. So I think in terms of the value, hopefully we get something out of it. Okay, let's go. Good luck. So what's the sequence? Oh, this is gonna flip it back. Yep. Got a phantasmal dread mall. So where do I put it at the side first? No, it's okay. You can just Blacksmith Skill Rift Soa Sojourner's Companion Set and Done. Patchwork Gnomes Got the land That's my first rare Blood Raid Marauder Kitchen Inn! Okay, I heard you saying that <laughs> We got it on the foil previous round I got a mythic And it is a Subtlety Oh my god, I think this has some good Good, good potential as well okay. Yeah, I see there's a lot of demand for this card what a flash evoke. Phantasmal Dreadmore. Okay, it's a double. Because I, I opened a normal one earlier. And 
for the etching of the chosen. Whoa. Another one? Oh. Bone shots. So this is the retro falling. Okay. One more. One more retro. Oh my goodness, Su Chen! Yes, this is the very first fetch Ooh. lane. So this is a edge version. So you flash it to the cameras. There is this type of like matte finish, uh, yeah. foiling type of uh, finishes. This is the thing to hit for, right? Yeah, definitely. But I think this is a uh, rank like the second tier second because tier. Uh, you should okay. get you should get the the retro slots one, which is over there. So means, you can man. put more slots behind what could it be? Oh my goodness! <laughs> wait, this, this is like a Burden catacombs. Yeah, it's a back-to-back -back pack. Guys, for the cameras, it's a double hit combo. So Alright, yay! So it looks like Su Chen Luck is on a roll. And this is the token and whoa! Okay, arrow, Miba, burden, a release, dust shell crawler, silver bridge, silver buff bridge. Oh, this terror morph. Not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Spreading insurrections. Okay, the edge slots foy. So we go over here, the very first full art non foil hit is a soul talisman. Okay, what's behind the sketch slot non foil series? Archless Acolyte. Oh, Rise and Shine Rare. Okay, looks like we need to have a cater slot for this space. Okay, we've got the Rise and Shine. Behind is a Mark Tedin foil Magnetic Sink Hole. Uncommon. So this is the uh, retro foil slots, and behind I have a timeless witness. Hey, I probably need this for my uh, modern deck in my Sahili combo deck. And what's behind is my edge foil. This is my sketch foil, and behind is a edge foil goblin engineer. Okay. So I think this one we've seen it in Modern Horizon 1. And this is just a in, in retro frame. And I have another hit behind, it's a Magus of the Bridge. Oh, I think this pack is not that great. But it's still nice to see so many hits in a collector boosters. Hey, and here we go. We have Foundry Helix. Mm. We have Recalibrate. Nice. Tongling Bridge, Heartbound Mouser, Mouser, what was that? Mm. Sea Drake, Nice, Barb Spike, I've got Land Forest, Edge, Edge Foil, Basic, and my rare would be a Suspend. Next, we move on to Timeless Weakness, another rare coming up, Harmonic Prodigy. Amarados Headliner Faithless Salvaging oh, I mean, Common Pistra Factory Land Okay, Chris Run What rarity is this man? Chris Run This Don't artist sounds like me. something good huh? Yeah oh, <laughs> Sword and Sinew and Steel It's still a mythic point though it's a mythic foil? Yeah, it's a mythic foil. So it's in a uh, old school retro frame, but it's just that it's an edge foil. It's still good to have something like that. That's so cool. look at the shooting stars of that card. So pretty. Yeah, it is indeed. Another one would be a sorcery. Whoa, this is also very or nice. Pain Tutor. Wow, look, check out the. The retro foil, right? Yeah. It's very more cleaner and better than the edge. It's a very, um, how do you call that, like a rainbow-ish kind of a... Yeah, I'd say that the foil is much more cleaner. Yeah. And my token. Chapter. Oh man, your luck is strong <laughs> today. Yay. Happy. I would say that it's very, very strong. 
a couple of uh, episodes before we were using the green one so that was the inter trim well, we wait for the arrival of this newly uh, made uh, playmat so hope it brings us a lot of good luck today yeah especially on rate okay we have a forest h5 followed by a void mirror the latest sideboard card against uh, tron so and next up is sketch card late to dinner we are early for dinner <laughs> okay oh my god i hit a sketch card um a, a, a bizarre sketch card Whoa. yeah i think this is uh expensive yeah Whoa. it's literally like a tutor that ramps up in the most uh, artifact deck so it's very cool to open cards like this and okay we have lanoa tribe well wow, this is a very old school reprint retro foil at three mana and behind is a only topper of paradise hey, surprisingly that's uh no edge foil over here but we get two retro foil in a row mm. and then we have a edge foil that comes up talisman of creativity and next up oh my goodness we have a plague engineer in a edge foil so this is a modern horizon one cut that was uh, reprinted in this as a retro frame and behind we have a full art foil Bria's Apprentice EA so artifact creature so it looks cool and this is the foil token Breathless Knight mm -hmm. then we have Dusk Shell Crawler mm -hmm. Tavern Scoundrel Bone Shards again Lucid Dreams Followed by Renovus Squirrel We have a land I have a Diamond Lion That's my red Followed by Abundant Harvest mm -hmm. Sketch card right? Yeah, okay. sketch card Oh okay, now I've got a mythic By Randy Galilgos What is this? Oh, sword. A sword of hearth and home. Nice, nice. Very good uh, EDH staple. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to like the old school part that you mentioned, right? So, what is this? I've got Acromoka. A creature, flying creature. Mm. A very nice shield. Yeah, for very nice yeah. foiling effects, right? Moving on, another retro card by Jason A and we've got a Molo Scallion mm. artifact creature another retro card by Lindsay Luke I've got another artifact Talisman of Resilience and followed by Chris Run <laughs> Chris Run come on okay oh my gosh Sort of half, half and home again. <laughs> uh, you got the other, the other pair of the sword. Oh. So by Chris Run, you have one pair. Oh, okay. So literally, That's you drew cool. both sword. I've got another old school card by Andrew Ma. The creature. This is, uh, Eve. Eve. Pro I have no idea how to pronounce this. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Is a rare or mythic or how do you tell if it's a rare or mythic? I see the this one, the gold symbol, the the, the left. Yeah. Oh it's a rare point in retro frame. Ooh. And a token. Nice. Wow. Okay, more only top of paradise. Stable bridge. Chrome carrier. Major Vanguard. Raving Visionary. Okay, H4. Planes. Okay, we have the very first Sanctum Weaver. It's the retro form. It's the edge part. Okay, we have the EA Sanctum Weaver. Uh, followed by Lens Flex. Oh, sorry, double hit. Oh shit! <laughs> this looks yes. like the Azar, oh. but I, I I I flip it too fast. Oops. So this is a Dermo Taxi. It's a vehicle. So you're gonna take grab taxi the <laughs> magic wall it looks like this okay we have a revenus squirrel 
edge cut very nice see it in this manner next we have a ninja foil ingenious infiltrator so not sure if this card still see plays but it's very good to be in a retro frame so hopefully maybe legacy ninja still plays it uh, retro frame okay we have an 8 foil step through edge foil and behind is a territorial kavu he looks very hungry here yeah. okay behind is we have a Plains Walker Full Art Foy. Wow, this Darkon Shadow Slaver looks sick in the EA form, but I've not I, I have no idea of the value it holds. But we will give it a sniff and a top loader. Hopefully this has some potential. Dre Keeper. Can I just Yes. Abundant Harvest Accessory Soul of Migration Foul Watcher Sudden Edict Slack Strider A Mountain Land First Rare <laughs> How do you even pronounce this? <laughs> Is this like a challenge? Oh my goodness S-O-R-R-K-A <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the, the fun part la, about <laughs> this is so creating cool. this card. <laughs> okay, next, uh, Uncommon and Artifact, Combined Chrysalis. Okay, my Mythic by Zijo Chen. Torak. Yeah, you remember you opened Red this card? Control. The, the Where we opened, had the pre release kit. Ah. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is, this is the full art. Yeah, full art, but there's no. Non foil. I see. Okay, hi, uh, sketch cut in foil. Jade Avenger. Okay, now the retro card. Lucas Cassiano. Sorcery Terminal. Agony. Followed by Common. Sketch Familiar. Okay, come. Anastasia. 5 5. Another card. Come on, come on. It's a dragon. Timeless dragon. Nice, it's Yvay. <laughs> Moving on to... Oh, you got a retro for you. Um, Ice, Ice Fang Co. Is it, this is a good card? <laughs> um, av average in, uh, in terms of value. Yeah. Cool. And a birdie. Mm. Mm. Uh, we have the retro, but it's in the edge format. So we are down to the last final uh, 1 plus 3 pack. Let's okay. see how far we can hit for it. Mountain. Okay, we have a Master of Death. H4. EA and what's behind. Gargadon. Oh, is this a mythic? <laughs> Sarah Emissary. Very nice, uh, Angel. 7 mana 7 7. Very nice sketch cuts in a painting format by um, Niels Hem. See, look at the angels, watercolor creation. Okay, behind is the bone shards. Retro uh, foil. And we have a echo like. Okay, we have a sea drake. H foil and what's behind but she done dark hands oh it's a rare island walk one mana tap target land oh not bad this looks like a move of pirate but just doesn't have the pirate yeah Rashidan used to be like pirates okay what's behind this rare it's a rise and shine foil oh no I think this is a not so great pack <laughs> Okay, I put my each in the tokens. Okay, I'll move on to this. How many packs do you have? Oh, last few. <laughs> last few. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Bargadon. Followed by Wolverine. 
Outbound Tracker, Knighted Mere, Archfield of Sorrows, Brainstone, Plains, Land, First Red, Cheetah Spitter. <laughs> oh, such a cute squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have Jade Avenger, <laughs> Sketch Format, and my rare. What's this? Oh, nice. Vindicate. Increase gold, a creature, vow and tumba, followed by another one. Nested shambler. Artifact. Marble gargoyle. And the next one. A creature. Ah. Doughty void walker. Yeah, I think this one got some <laughs> potential. Okay, I have a rare card coming up. Because the, the long for yesterday yeah. it's like seventeen dollars. Mm. Yeah. I've got calibrated blast and a token. Last two packs! Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Last final two. Hey, come on you guys, we need the we need more luck. Yep, this is edge point. This is edge point as well. Okay, come, come, on, on. come on! With the super lucky swipe! <laughs> so here's my pack. We can't stop at two lanes. So this is a set for patch lanes, so hopefully there are more. But we are missing out. Misty Rainforest! It's for luck. Misty Rainforest is the hit to go. Okay. So Mr. Starfish. Very nice. Veil and Tomb. Flim Tongue Yearling. Very cute. Planes. Calibrated Brass. Blast. This is the card that you just opened in. Foy. Okay, so let's see what's behind. We have the Underworld Hermit. Oh, this is a rare. Sylvan's Anthem. Okay, change of hands. Sylvan Anthem. Okay, so we have an H foy, a retro foy, a blazing Rottweiler. It's a common card. Madness. Okay, lens flare. Okay, we have bow and tumor. And what's behind is an enchantress presence. Foy. Okay, one more hit. One more hit behind. One time. Okay, one time. So lucky. Peeling off a dra <coughs> dragon for you guys. Piru, the volatile. Legendary Elder Dragon. Very nice to see this in the classic foil. Cool, cool, cool. We will slip it up. This Elder Dragon. Alright. Okay. Switch it over to you, the final pack. <laughs> Oh, everything's on this. Come on. Okay, so we have Outbound Slasher, Bone Shards again, Glimmer, Glimmer Bane Bun. Yeah, very cute art, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> the honeybee yeah. illustration. We have a Tumult Crypt Keeper, Blazing. Root Bala Hurt Balo Balo An Island Van Okay, here's a rare Glimpse of Tomorrow Is there something good for tomorrow? Come on, come on Roll Weary Rare Prince of Fell, right? Oh my gosh, come on, come on Abundant Harvest But cook. Mine collapse. Instant cut. Shatter storm. <laughs> the squirrel is back. Yeah, the squirrel is back. <laughs> the H one. That's my last card. 
Oh, Archmage Charm. Okay, I think. Got some value? Oh, okay, I still have one more hit, I guess. Okay, I'm rare. Star, star. <laughs> Terra's Royal Kaboom. Yeah, this is a hungry Kaboom. <laughs> and this is a Kaboom for us. And a oh crab. no, guys! Oh man! We started Jeez. off the video really, really well with pack 2. <laughs> So, I think it's mm, maybe, I wouldn't say it's like 5 upon 5. I would right. say that our box is maybe like, maybe 2 upon 5 to 3 upon 5. That's quite sad. <laughs> yeah, I would say, I would say in this way. So, let us, uh, let me sort out the card and we can do a quick recap for, for you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, uh, I've done sorting out the cards for you guys. Uh, so just gonna do a quick recap starting from maybe like the uh, Lonefoy. The, the Lonefoy sketch cards that we managed to hit are like Rise and Shine, uh, Harmonic Prodigy, I think the best is uh, Emissary, and three, one, two, three, four, five, six hits. I think that's uh, two more sketch in, in the uh, top loader slots. So these are the common series that you can get from sketch and we go over to the sketch foils so we got Megas of the Bridge, Rise and Shine and we had the, the foil Planeswalker also in, in that pile later on we will show um, next up we go into the EA, EA series so I think these are the best hits from the EA non point series Endurance and Sub Curly I was hoping for I get a white colour version but Alama oh, didn't get it. So I think these are the better ones. And in our EA, uh, we also had the sort of Hope and Home. And in our three EA foils, we managed to get this tree. Okay. And moving on to maybe it's the H H H foil first. So starting off with retro frames, we had something good. Which are for mid tier, Mitch Charm. Then these are the notable ones, Plague Engineers. Um, this Dorothy White Walker, not sure how, how good is this card in a real life tournament. But I see the, the regular cards are worth quite something. So Vindicate, Intragress Presence, Shadow Storms. And these are the notable ones, I think these are like ETH staples. So I'm not sure they are getting the H series or the uh, retro series. So start off, I think ETH guys might, might, might look continue the H voice series since I think Commander Legends has a lot of edge voice. So over to the retro cleaner nicer voice. Just a little bit unlucky that we didn't hit any fetch lines in this series. Uh, but we have a something like this Ice Fang Piru. That are our rare slots and these are the old retro frames uh notable uh playable hopefully and Last off, in our top loader slots, we have the both swords opened by Su Chen, which is by Chris Run. So, anytime you see Chris Runs, you get both swords, swords of Swill and Steels, and Herb and Home. So, we got a pair of swords today. So, in Edge Foy, and next we have Dakon Shadow Slayers in EA Foy. I think cost is zero. Very nice uh, EA. And then the Sketch Foy, Rhea Drone, the Hada that we have. And next we have the Sketch Foy of Urza Saga. Very nice card to have. Non Foy, but this is non Foy, still good. We have some value. And next we have a Profane Tutor. That is, um, I think this is one of the cards that I will keep for some time. Very nice. Brings back the time like it's in like Mirage art. Like some like like those times, and then uh, ending off the video, guys. Uh, not forgetting like what her how Su Chen, uh, cracked open for her pack two. So she started off with a, uh, retro frame eight foil scouting tons, um, and then a, EA, Verdant catacomb foil. So with that um like what I've uh, said earlier, I think our box is only like two point five upon. Maybe just barely past the uh, um, 3 upon 5 stage. So I think 
we enjoyed uh, opening this and that's us signing off. Bye. Bye guys.